This is amazing. Now I'm able to create a game like this using Crew AI. Multiple agents created this game. We have the software engineer agent. We have the quality control engineer agent and the chief quality control engineer. They are going to work together to create a game like that. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about game builder using Crew AI. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video will be helpful for many others like you. So the first step is git clone and then crew AI examples and then click enter. Next navigate to the crew AI examples folder. Inside that there's a folder called game builder crew. Navigate to that folder. As usual we are going to install crew AI, Langchain and other modules using pip install and then click enter. Make sure you export your open AI API key like this and then click enter. Now open the folder in VS Code. These are the files inside that folder. We can see agentsfile.py, tasks.py, and then main.py. So the first step is creating agents and then tasks. And finally, we make them work together using crew function. So in the agents.py file, there you can see the software engineer agent, the quality control engineer agent, and chief quality control engineer agent. First, the software engineer is going to develop the game using Python and then the quality engineers are going to analyze and make sure there are no errors in the code. Going to the tasks.py file, we assign tasks to each individual agents. Totally, we have three tasks. One is the coding task, next is the reviewing task, and finally, evaluating task. Now we are going to import the agents and tasks inside the main.py file which you can see here. There you are initializing those classes, triggering those three agents and then the three tasks. Finally, we are creating a crew function where you pass the agents and the task. We get the result in the game variable and finally we print out the result. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, python main.py and then click enter. Now there's a question, what is the game you would like to build? What will be the mechanics? I'm providing a prompt which is provided by the author of this Two, a shooter game where the player can shoot projectiles at enemies and move around the screen. Enemies should appear at the reasonable pace randomly. Increase the pace appear over time so that the game get more difficult. Enemies will get destroyed if the player shoots projectiles that hits them. If the player hits an enemy, it's game over. There should be a score on how many enemies the player hits. Your final answer must be the Python code, only the code and nothing else. Now I'm going to click enter. Now the AI is going to convert this text or the prompt into an actual game. That is exciting. Imagine how many games you can create by just entering the text. Now I can see the software agent started its work to create the Python code. Here I can see the Python code is using pygame package. So before running this code, make sure you install the pygame package. Now the quality control engineers are going to analyze this code and make sure there are no errors. I can see the game is created by the software engineer, quality checked by the quality control engineer, and then finally, it was evaluated by the chief quality control engineer. Here's the final code. I'm going to copy this, then paste it in a test file. Going to install pip install pi game to install the required package. Next, going to run that file. And here is the final output, which I can see. As soon as I hit the enemy, I was out. I can see the score here. And finally, it was game over after five points. I'm going to try that again. And let's see what's happening. I'm just trying to move that, hitting the enemies. I'm trying to hit as fast as I could. I'm trying to, now I'm voluntarily going to hit this one. And it disappeared. In the terminal, I can see after a few times, the game is over. As simple as that. I'm really excited about this. Now you can create the game you like by just entering the prompt. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.